when the idea came into being in 1968, the idea of wanting to celebrate the beauty of intelligence in black women. I did not realize uh, what my former partners and I were about to do in terms of really making sure that black women were heard, celebrated. And so from my family, uh, my aunts, my grandmother, my mother, my sheroes of, of of my family led me to understand that black women were not appreciated. And so the idea of getting involved in starting a magazine for black women to do that uh, brings great joy to, to me, as, particularly as a black man, uh, with regard to being in a position uh, to make something happen. That's become so meaningful now after 53 years of uh, being out here. You know, I don't take black women for granted because I want to believe that all black women read magazines. That's not the case. And so uh, what we have always tried to do is, is to make sure uh, that we take into consideration what black women needs are, don't take them for granted. I would like to think all black women read the magazine, want them to do it. But we, we mix us make sure that we do our job on a monthly basis in order to be able to have the consumer, black women, continue to buy us and be supportive of us. I come from a family of strong black women, and I realized they were not appreciated. How hard they worked, also they dressed to the nines when they came together going to church. But was being with my, my mother, my grandmother, my aunts, I was an eye-opener for me in terms of sensitivity um, and trying to understand and um, my family were very opinionated, outspoken, uh, hard workers and really cared about our, uh, our community. And I wrote a book for The Man From Essence, creating a magazine for black women. And one of the reasons why I wanted to write the book, aside from living the American dream of help, helping a minority company, being able to sell it to a majority company, and then I had to realize I had to tell the story about how Essence came together and little by myself. But what I wanted black women to know is that there were four black men with all the issues between black men and black women. I wanted black women to know that there were black men who came forth to start a magazine for black women. Because many people thought that Susan Taylor started the magazine. That was not the case. Not that Susan did an outstanding, incredible job when she was the editor-in-chief. But I wanted black women to know it was, we stepped up and here we are today.